Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tammy and this is Happiness Created. Today I have a farmhouse video for you. It's part of a collaboration with some amazing creators and really great friends to me. So let's get into it. Project number one. I have three of these crates from the Dollar Tree. Um, one of these plaques, I believe I got it at Walmart. It is a plaid product. And then I have three of these, they call them ruler sticks. So I, I think they're like the five gallon stir sticks. Anyway, I'm going to be using two of those. So I am taking my two paints from um, Dixie Belle. They are white cap and anchor. And I'm going to be using those throughout the entire video. So I picked out a rub-on transfer that I was going to use. I ended up ruining it and had to pick another one, but I think it came out great anyways. So now I'm just going around the plaque with the anchor. Um, and then because I messed it up, you could still see some of the rubber, old rub-on transfer. So I just kind of dry brushed the black over it. So now I'm going to use this homemade um, word and one of the pears. And again, I think it came out super cute in the end. And I believe these are um, redesign rub-on transfers. They should be in my Amazon storefront. If you can't find them, just comment down below and I will get you the link. So I'm just going to add them to this plaque and then we will move forward. Now I'm going to put that aside and these are the stir sticks. I didn't paint certain portions of them because I wanted the um, the adhesion from the, the wood glue and the hot glue to really hold these pieces into place. So I'm putting hot glue and wood glue on the stir sticks and I am going to add the three um, crates to the stir sticks. I hope that made sense. <laughs> you can see what I'm doing here though. So now that those are all uh, glued together, I'm going to take this plaque and I'm going to add it to where the curves are in the stir stick, like the handle. And I'm just using hot glue for that. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to um, place that right on top, like so. Now I have these stickers. I believe I got them from Timu, but I'm not 100% on that. And I am taking some white, one of my white markers, and I'm going to add the words. Um, I just put fruit, veggies, and coffee pods, but you can do whatever you want with it. Um, honestly, I used some of my um, fake fruits and veggies and you'll see um, 
it kind of looks silly, but it's a good way to stage, I guess. So once I get them all, once I get the writing on all of these, excuse me, I'm going to just place them on the front of the crates. And that's all there is to it. I think it's super adorable. I think you could use this, you know, for storing craft supplies or pretty much anything you want. So let me know what you guys think of this one. So this video is part of the farmhouse decor collaboration that I am in with three of my besties here on YouTube. There is Maxine from Maxine Loves Crafts, Christine from DIY A Craftaholic, and C from CJ DIY. These ladies are everything. They're so amazing. I am so honored to be collaborating with them. I love you ladies so, so much. I'm going to have all of their links as well as the playlist in my description box down below. When you're done with my video, head on down to the playlist and check out these amazingly talented ladies. And with all that being said, let's get back to the projects. Project number two. I have this um, laser cutout, I think is what it's called. Um, it says home. And I also have this wood blank that I got from Michael's quite a while back. So yeah, I'm going to be using these two. And I also have some fabric from the Dollar Tree, the farmhouse fab fabric. Woo. Anyway, um, so I painted it with the white cap and the anchor, and now I am taking the fabric and some hot glue, and I'm just going around the words, or the word, and I am going to glue the fabric down that way, and you don't see it, so it's not a huge deal, so yeah. I'm just going to go all around and then I cut off all of the excess fabric and then I'm going to take now I took this wood piece and I put it on my blank so that I didn't have to paint the entire blank. So once I did all of that and got the fabric on, I'm just going to hot glue this um, this sign to the wood blank like so and once that is all secured in place where it should be i am going to flip it over i'm going to take the hanger off and reposition it so that it hangs vertically instead of horizontally and i do take my pliers and get out as many of the um staples as I possibly can some of them were like really deep in there and I couldn't get them so now I'm just going to take some hot glue and I am going to glue this um, hanger as I said so that it hangs vertically instead of horizontally while that is kind of curing, I am taking the rest of this fabric, well not the rest of it, but some of it, and I'm just making little slits and then I'm tearing it apart into little strips and I'm going to make a messy bow with it. Now, I'm not very good at making messy bows, I gotta tell you. So, um, and I didn't want a bunch of different colors and fabrics so I just stuck with just this one fabric 
and now I'm taking my jute twine and I am going to tie it so that it's nice and secure and then I will take another piece of that fabric and just cover the twine where you know you can so you can't see it how's that <laughs> Now I also have this jute that I pulled off another project you'll see later with these little black beads on them. And I thought they would be cute just hanging out from under the bow. The tails were kind of long or the, the whole piece was kind of long. So I tied a knot at the top and then I just cut that part off. And now I'm going to glue it right in the corner there so that it hangs. And then I'm going to glue the bow right on top of that. So it hides the knot and it just looks so stinking adorable. I love this sign. It's my second favorite project in this video. But here it is. How beautiful is this? I am so in love with this sign. You'll have to let me know what you guys think of this project. Okay, project number three. I have these nesting boxes that I got from Dollar Tree. Um, it's a like a set of three, there we go. So I'm just going to paint them in the white cap and dry brush with the anchor. Now I got that Lily of the Valley from Hobby Lobby. It's just in a little can, but I'm taking it apart to use it. So I'm going to hot glue the medium box over on this side. And then I'm going to take the smaller box and I am gluing it to the opposite side of the medium crate, if that makes sense. <laughs> so now that that is all done, I am going to take that moss, the green moss. I don't know exactly what the name is but anyway <laughs> moss there we go and I am just going to fill all three of these crates and then I'm going to start pulling that lily of the valley apart lily of the valley is one of my favorite it's right up there with lilacs I gotta tell you those are my two favorite flowers so I'm just going to kind of sporadically um, place the Lily of the Valley in these three boxes. And I apologize if you can hear the chainsaw. We have some work going on outside the house and the windows are closed, but um, it's very loud. <laughs> so anyway, um, so yeah, I'm just going to place the lily of the valley where I think they will look best.
Now I have some pieces of greenery. I have like a little container filled with little spare pieces because, you know, we don't throw anything away. So, <laughs> um, so I'm just adding them so it looks like, you know, some of those leaves that, that you know, they crawl on the ground instead of growing up. So anyway, that was what I was trying to accomplish by placing these um, pieces of greenery, just kind of laying them there. Sorry about that. Suddenly I had to cough. <laughs> so, okay. Now I have these beautiful purple flowers that I got from Dollar Tree. I haven't seen them again, but if I do, I'll be picking up more, but they're so pretty. I don't know what they are. They kind of look like, um, like pansies, I guess. I don't know. I'm not that great with flowers, but anyways, they're beautiful. I love them, and I just placed a few in these crates, again, where I thought they would look best. And there it is, the finished product. I think it's so, so pretty. I love it so, so much. Let me know what you guys think of this project. Okay, project number four. I have this uh, cutting board from the Dollar Tree. And that's where I got the, um, the jute with the beads. So I painted it again with the white cap and the anchor. And now I am just kind of um, sanding down the sides because I did get a little bit of paint on the sides and I didn't want that showing. So now I have this clip that I got from Lord only knows where. <laughs> and I'm taking my E6000 and I am going to attach the clip right to the um, cutting board and then I will be able to hang my uh, pad of paper um, on there and I'm going to use this for like a shopping list um, so yeah so I got those beads off of Amazon and um, they're they've got little bees and like the little yellow and black stripes and they're they're just adorable so I'm taking just two blacks and two whites. Um, and of course that <laughs> twine or cording was way too thick. So now I'm just using the twine from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to um, just add a black and a white on one side and then I will uh, pull out a length and um, add the other two beads to the other side of the length of jute that I need. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to wrap it around the neck of the cutting board as you can see here and that will determine the uh, length that I need for it to hang. So once I get that done, I am just going to wrap it around the neck and hot glue it in place. And then I am going to take some more of that twine and just wrap it around the neck. I'm just going to go up the neck just a bit. I'm not going to like cover the entire neck or handle of this cutting board. I just wanted to give it a little bit more detail. Me your love, me your love. 
Now, once that is done, I am doing a finger bow. I can't begin to explain it to you, so I slowed the video down so that you were able to see it. Basically, you just hang on to your tail and wrap it, kind of weave it in between your two fingers. And then you take the tail and wrap it in between your fingers and the twine. And then when you come back around, you just go under where you went between the finger and the twine. See, I'm not good at describing it, but here it is so you can see for yourself. And once that's done, I am just going to hot glue that to the center of the twine. And yeah, I think it turns out super cute. I'm going to tack the tails down too because I don't want them to end up getting under the notepad and then it won't sit right and then you have a whole big thing. So <laughs> I'm just tacking down the tails for the bow and then those little beads will just kind of hang on the side maybe over the notepad a little bit but I think it just adds some cuteness and a little detail to this little notepad holder that I've created but I think it came out super adorable of course so because if it didn't I don't know that I would put it in the video but anyway <laughs> let me know what you guys think of this project project number five now this one is my favorite I have three of these houses from the Dollar Tree and all of the cows the cows I'm sorry all of the farm animals that they had on the stands so it they were already black so I'm taking some of that white cap and I am just doing a tiny bit of dry brushing just around the edges just so that it defines where the animal ends and the house begins, if that makes sense. So, and then I am going to go around all of the houses doing the exact same thing. I swear that I will stay now I am taking out some of my little tiles. I believe I got them from Woodpecker's Crafts. I am an affiliate. The link is down in my description box. Um, I do get a small commission, but it does not come out of your pocket. So um, they're little Scrabble tile type things with no letters obviously so I am taking my white marker and I was trying to do you know just using my marker and it just was not working because the tiles were just soaking in the paint so I take my white cap uh, silk paint it's an all-in-one paint from Dixie Belle now I do get my Dixie Belle paints from Crafty Art Shack, Charlene. Um, I will have her information linked down below if you're interested in any of the Dixie Belle products. Just um, get in touch with Charlene. She's amazing and she will help you out with any and all of your Dixie Belle needs. So I did end up having to do two coats because again, these little tile pieces were really soaking in the paint. Now I have these gold rub-on transfer letters. Now, I didn't have any other letters. I didn't have any stickers or anything. So, and I was, honestly, I was just too lazy to pull out my Cricut. So I'm using these gold rub-on transfers and I think it came out amazing. I was not really thrilled. Gold is not really my thing, but yellow gold is not really my thing. Let me, 
let me stress that. I mean, I love gold. Who doesn't love gold? Anyway, <laughs> um, so I am just going to put my letters on these tiles and they are going to look so stinking cute when this is done. Let me tell you. So I messed up one of the O's and of course I didn't have any others. So I used the Q, but I just didn't um, scrape on the little tail part. So you don't know, you wouldn't know if I didn't tell you that it's actually a Q and not an O. So now that I have that done, I'm gonna take one house and one animal. I'm going to put hot glue all over the back of the animal and I am going to set the house on the stand so it's not, it's not behind the stand, it's on top of the stand like the animal is. And these are just gonna be shelf sitters and they sit perfectly. So, it just, it worked out amazing. So I'm going to do that with all three of the animals. Now, once that's done, I'm going to take the tiles and spell out the words for each animal. So I put clock for the chicken, moo for the cow, and oink for the pig. Now I needed something to cover up the holes where the hangers were. So on the chimney of the house, I put these burlap flowers that I got from Dollar Tree. And so that hid that hole. And then on the other side of the house, there was a hole. So I took these beautiful flowers from Dollar Tree and I just pulled out three of the black ones and I hot glued those right on top of the other hole. And here they are. Look at how stinking cute these came out. Guys, I absolutely love, love, love these pieces. Look at them. Oh my goodness. I am so, so in love. I know, I already said that, but I'm saying it again. I'm so in love with these pieces. I think they came out so adorable. Let me know what you guys think of this project. Okay, project number six. This is the last one, guys. I know this is kind of a long video, but... So I have these two pieces of glass that I have had forever. They were in a, a wall decor piece that I had a long time ago. I have the lights from Dollar Tree, the candlestick holders from Dollar Tree. I have some of the river... Uh, rocks, some pine cones, and those little wood slices. So I'm taking my E6000, I'm putting some on the top of the candle holders, and I am going to glue those to the bottom of these glass, we'll call them vases. Now, once the glue set a bit, I uh, just started adding stuff to the vases. I put some pine cones. I put some of the river rocks in. I didn't want a lot. I didn't want to fill it or anything. I just wanted a little something in the bottom of these pieces. And then I put some of the little wood slices inside 
the jars. Now I took my uh, level because I wanted to make sure that the glass pieces were actually sitting flat on the um, candlestick holders. I didn't want them, I didn't want it to look lopsided once it cured. So I just made sure that everything was good. And then I put the um, lights on just to see how they would look. Then I have this ribbon that I got from Michaels. It was a Christmas ribbon and it's beautiful and I have a ton of it because it was like 90% off I think or 70% off something like that. Um, so I just took two strips and I wrapped it around the top part of the candle holder because I wanted to put a bow on it and I knew that the hot glue wasn't going to stay when I added the bow. So I kind of glued it on top of itself so it'll stay that way. Now I'm making another finger bow and I'm going really slow so you can see this <laughs> um, because I just can't, I can't explain it. I don't know why, but so I am just, I'm going to make two of these finger bows so that I can put one on each of the candlesticks. Once you figure this out, it's super easy. You can do it with pretty much anything you want as far as ribbon goes. So again, I am going to make two of these ribbons. And then I am just going to hot glue them right into place. And that's all there is for this project. I think it's so beautiful. I absolutely love it. Now, I wish those were warm lights, not the cool lights that they are. So they have like a blue tint instead of the yellow tint. But overall, I am super happy with this project and I absolutely love every detail. Let me know what you guys think of these. So I want to thank Maxine C and Christine for joining forces with me. I had so much fun making this video and I love you ladies so, so much. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a great big thumbs up for me. It really helps me with YouTube. It lets them know that you enjoy my content and they'll push it out for others to enjoy as well. If you're new to my channel or coming over from the playlist, welcome. I hope you'll consider sticking around and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a brand new video. I thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend with me. And I will see you next Wednesday instead of Thursday because I am in a patriotic playlist and I very much look forward to that. So I hope to see you all then. So have a great day and I love you all. And thank you again for all of your love and support.